Motivation. What motivates us? What are the different types of things that can motivate us and get us on the path moving forward for ourselves? Because it's interesting. Your motivation, it comes and goes. Your discipline, it comes and goes. If we're honest, we go through patches where we are forging our way forward. And then we'll go through patches where we're not. And that's life. Because shit happens. And it will happen to you. It's happened to me. It's happened to every single person. That is life. Life is about contrast. We've talked a lot about contrast in the last little while. This one's been in the bag for a little while, actually. Uh, it's just it's, it's been some other awesome guests and other awesome podcasts come up. So I'll let those ones go through first. So this one is actually, it's probably almost a month old, maybe a couple of months old now. And it's me and Dan. And I took him for a mountain bike ride around Wyvernhoe. Uh, showed him out there. Had a good time. And then we sat down and discussed motivation and the things that motivated him and the things that motivated me, the, the similarities, and then some of the steps and some of the processes that we've learned from listening to these motivational videos and the podcasts that we listen to, and also from our own experience, which I think is important. A lot of things have happened in both our worlds since this podcast was recorded, so it's quite interesting to release it now I think it's probably something that uh, I probably need and Dan probably needs you know because as I say it's ups and downs it's roundabouts there's been tests and trials and tribulations since this podcast was was done however it's interesting that's one of the things about this medium you know you can look back and, and see where you were at that period of time compared to where you are now so look this is a really good conversation and we're both still on the path, have no doubt about that. And the, and the things that motivate us and everything that we talked about in this conversation is still very valid and will continue to help us both moving forward, as I hope that it helps you moving forward. I think we definitely have to go with Bathe in the Sun as the intro track. I know Dan likes that. And let's do Plain Lady Jane to finish off. I just like that combination. It's... A growing time here at the podcast again month on month on month growth so thank you very much for those that are tuning in and giving us a go uh, opening up the subject topics talking to some new people this week i'll release two podcasts so this one as soon as i've done this intro i'll release it and then i uh, spoke to daniel mengel on on the weekend i'm going to release his podcast later in the week got a couple other snippets in the bag and some other very cool guests coming to you guys so thank you very much for that please spread the word five star reviews on whatever podcast app you use that'd be really cool helps us in the algorithm uh we had past ten thousand downloads since you guys since i last got on the mic to you guys thank you very much for that i understand it's a drop in the ocean comparative to other podcasts whoever what an amazing goal what an amazing achievement however again another step in the journey if if anything it makes me just want to double down and improve so thanks very much guys look after yourselves discipline equals freedom keep hustling stay motivated remember why you're doing it remember why you've got that passion project and always remember to make time for yourself thanks very much guys we'll talk soon cheers
Always good. It's a pleasure to have you in the refinery, mate. It's your first one-on-one in the refinery, actually. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Last one we did was at my house, wasn't it? Exactly. The, yeah, in yeah, the garage. yeah. In the garage at your place. Yeah. Yeah, it's um, it looks good now. It looks good. It's yeah. a, it's a good vibe in here. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's awesome, man. It's awesome. So, since we last spoke, you've been on a little bit of a journey, and you and you you're shifting motivations. Let's say. In some ways, you're shifting motivations, but you're trying to find motivation and, and trying to clarify what you want to do. And we and like obviously, I'm all about that shit as well, man. You know what I mean? I you know I've shared motivational videos with you. We've been sharing those a lot lately, and it's it's led to a discussion about what does motivate us, doesn't it? Mm. You know, and what what is the why does something speak to you and doesn't speak to me? And it is interesting the fact that um, we all have different drivers. Exactly. Exactly, it's all very different. You know, as I say, we've been mates for years now. We see eye to eye on many, many things. However, when it becomes when it comes to our motivations, we're actually very different. Mm. Very different. I, I actually found it comical because I, when I when I was speaking to you and I flicked you my ones and I said, "Here, have a look at this. This is awesome. This is like this is the best thing I've heard." Flicked it over, um, and when you flicked me yours, mm. and then I'm like. Mm. <laughs> That didn't work for me. Whereas my ones, the, the three or four that I've listened to, yeah. I've listened to four or five times. Yeah, we um, traded, we traded back back. three or four. So I think you, you had Arnie, Matthew McConaughey. I like Matthew McConaughey's one, I must admit. That was very good. Mm. Uh, what else was Arnie, Matthew McConaughey, sales one, and oh, I can't remember the other one now. However, and I sent you Retrain Your Mind some, and some Jocko. Mm. And for both of us, that was very individually... Very motivating. Mm. However, for each other, like you sort of got one of them. I sort of got, you know, I was just saying, I was on board Bits with Matthew bobs, McConaughey. Yeah. Yep. However, the most of us, like I didn't really, didn't do anything for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you... And, and, on, and on the flip side, like, and it was quite the opposite. Your, the ones you showed me, not that it unmotivated me because there's no such thing, no. but um, but I just sort of looked at it and went, oh, that didn't work. That didn't, it didn't grip me in any way, shape, or form. Yeah, it didn't fire you up at all. In fact, his voice ir- irritated me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can tell, Jocko. It. <laughs> but, but yeah, and it, it's, it didn't work for me. Mm. But then I'm me. And, and those ones um, that, that you were focused on were very, um, I, I got the feeling that it was more so, uh, Get up in the morning. Don't press your alarm. Um, exercise. Do all those sorts of things. Mm. Whereas they're not my drivers. I wake up happy. I wake up fresh. Yeah. I don't have that snooze mentality. Yes. So when they started rambling on about that, I'm like, eh, next, uh, kick on, because that it, it wasn't. It didn't hit my buttons. That's right. <clears throat> Whereas the ones that I showed you, it was just like, oh, that's me. Tick. Oh, that's me. Oh, Tick. wow, that spoke to me. Wow, that yeah, actually yeah. changed my existence. And it's interesting. That it was, you know. I like the fact that we disagree with them because it leads to interesting questions. Like, so if you're not myself or yourself, you know, who, you know, we, we're looking for different types of motivation to achieve different goals. I mean, you are, you know, you're watching your food and all that sort of stuff. You're going for walks now. 
And again, not because you actually are interested in exercise because you're not. Uh, <laughs> Check. Check. <laughs> However, we did have a good ride today. It was pretty cool. Yeah, my ass is still sore. <laughs> I shouldn't say. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, well, I should say my glute. My, my, my glute. My glute. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, however, you realise that you're not getting any younger and you need to be around for your kids. Yeah. And got to think about being more healthy. And through that, you don't, I don't know, you, you don't think that that has an effect on how... An effect? I don't think that's a word. You don't think that has an effect on why you've looked at started looking into more of these motivational stuff? No, I, I don't know. So we had this conversation the other day and I don't want to try and it makes bad radio talking about conversations from the other day. Um, but I, I don't know whether it's got a direct correlation. I honestly don't know. I honestly don't know. I do know the conversation started from someone at work. Yeah. He mentioned the Arnie, the Arnie thing. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, Cause, and he only gave me a snippet, and he didn't say, go listen to this. He just gave me one of his blah. One and, of his uh, lines. One of his lines. And, Did he do um, the accent? No, nah, he's oh. not good. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and, and I'm like, wow, that was really good. And then I, even to the point that like that one statement that it was made at work, I'd actually recalled that comment to other people on the weekend because that was on a Friday, and I must have... So I it made have, it through the gate. You know, you, I think you throw out nine or ten thoughts, so that, that was a keeper. For whatever reason, one hundred percent, and it said, and it hit a. What was it? it? Oh, I can't even remember now. <laughs> <laughs> should have, should have rethought that one. No, but um, but it doesn't matter what the words were. The intent was there. Oh, I don't know. It was the one about stop being lazy. There's twenty four hours in a day. Uh, you get up. You've got. You sleep for eight hours. You then you get up. You have breakfast. You travel to work. You do this. You get home. He said, "You've then still got X amount of hours for the day." Yeah, so you like, do. Yeah. There's people who say, "I'm too busy." It's an excuse. And it is an excuse. It is an excuse. Yeah. And I like that excuse. And I still run with that excuse. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true. Mm. It doesn't matter how you look at it. It's true. Um, do we need R&R? Of course we do. Of course do we, we do. You have to. You have to have R&R. Of course However, you do. I think the main driver, and that but see, it, it across a lot of these videos, and I think that's the main, the main driver, and to be honest, that's one of the ones that got to me in that retrain your mind. It's, just, it's all about how you use your time. Yes. Yeah. You know, one of the ones that I remember from that is like the beggar and the billionaire both have twenty four hours in one day. Hundred percent. It doesn't matter that it doesn't matter your nationality, your race, your creed. It doesn't matter who you are. We're uh, all the same, and we're all start on the same level playing field when we're born with a from a mentality, give or take. Yeah, I think from a culture point of view, there's a different discussion there. However, we all are still humans. I understand what you're saying. Yeah. 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 And one of the other things I've obviously he said you, one of, one of the people said it. I don't know. It's all. A jumble, but basically they've said you can never. No one can be double as smart as someone else. So basically, you can grab the lowest person and then the highest, as in your Einstein's. He said on the extremes, maybe they're double as smart, but in general, it's impossible for someone to be double as smart as someone else. We're all just smart by portions. Well, yeah. I think we all have talents. I mean, we spoke earlier today about musical talent. That's one of those things. What are you doing with your time? I think the key is you want to do something that excites you, you know. So, you know, I have this, obviously, and you have the project that you're working on. Yep. You know what I mean? That's your driver. That's your main motivator behind the scenes. Because you're, you know, you're a husband, you're a father, you're, you go to work every day like the rest of us. However, you have to find some of that time. And I think that's that's the key here. And I, I, I did a post about that today. Where it's like, as, especially as blokes, because you, you know, you go to work, you look after the kids, you, you do what you do, you do what you do. You, you, all of a sudden, you're not doing anything for you. Yeah. That's where you need to find whatever your motivators are. And I think motivational videos are good. However, it's interesting that across eight, nine or ten that we shared with each other, it was complete opposites. Mm. Right? However, the, the motivation has got to be, you've got to have something to do that doesn't you know, ultimately, if it made you money, that would be good. However, that's not the driver. No. So I'll give. I'll run on with that. Um, so basically, like once I once I listened to the first couple of podcasts, um, YouTube clips, whatever it was. But each one went. For, Arnie's was half an hour. The other one that I really liked went for an hour, and Matthew McConaughey's was half an hour. Yeah. So I listened to each one of those multiple times. 
Um, but one of the biggest things I got out of that, I do at work now. I now, in the mornings, now I've only been doing this for three, four weeks. Like I'm brand new on this process. Yeah. Um, but basically at work each day, I'm now starting my day with a list. And one of the things they said is the um, the eighty twenty rule makes sense. We all know it. We all know. Um, it, yeah. Basically, I'm picking the ones that need to be done, the business critical things, the ones that are really going to impact, versus the items that are easy. Yes. Versus the crap that I can do without thinking. Mm. And and majority of the time, they're the ones I like to do. They're still important, and they've still got to be done, but they're not the drivers in a sales based role. That's the right. drivers are selling, mm-hmm. um, and and they said that was one of those things that really resonated with me. Well, that see that that was the one that was complete opposites for us because I'm not sales based. That's not what I do. So, mm-hmm. however, if in order to give you a process behind that, you need to do that. You know what I mean? And you're right. There's satisfaction when you get the difficult things done first. Yep. Yep, I agree. Because you know, then you can cruise. You know, and that's that's. Obviously, get up in the morning and exercise. The thing behind that is, is if you get up in the morning and smash it out, the hardest thing you've done for the day, you've already done it. There's nothing you can do for the rest of the day that's going to be harder than, you know, getting up early and smashing it out. Yep. And that's sort of the same mentality what you're saying. When you get to work, you're doing the hardest things you have to do that day. The most important, the most critical, the, yeah. the things that need to be done. And from there, yes, it doesn't matter as much. Everything's still important, but yes, it's it's less of a... Now, I'll flip it over to then I get home from work. So one of the things that I've always notorious for is sitting down on my phone. Or I'll, I might play with the kids, or I might do this, or I might do that. But none of them are... Uh, they're all important, same yeah. deal. But then my grass in the backyard got to six foot high because my lawnmower broke. An yeah. excuse. An anyway, excuse, yeah. I got a, I got a lawnmower, and then, man, it was about the same time I borrowed my lawnmower from my brother. Um, and then I'm like, bang, I need to do something every day. So every afternoon, mm. I did half an hour to an hour's worth of yard work. Now, it took me three weeks. But in that three weeks, I've mowed the lawn three times because it needed it because it was so high. Yeah. Um, I then whippersnippered. I've then weeded. Mm. I've then poisoned. I've then gone by hand and pulled out all the different mm. weeds. Like, my yard is immaculate. Mm. And from a satisfaction point, like I was telling you, when I was going for a walk the other day, mm. I'm looking around and, and I looked at a lot of these front yards and I'm like, oh, there's just no effort there. Right. And it was a real slap in the face that that was me a month ago. Mm. Um, and it hasn't taken that much effort. And it meant that I still have time on weekends and I've still got time to do other stuff because that half an hour, an hour of an afternoon, I'm sitting down watching something stupid or playing exactly. an irrelevant game on my phone. Exactly. And that, and that's what, and I think that's the dis- eternal distraction that we have to face every day is what are you doing with your time? Yeah. And and look, these phones, they're a time suck and they're addictive. You know, they're every, everybody is in a level of addiction to these smartphones. If you're not, you, you, you're bullshitting yourself if you think that you're not. Because the reality is pretty much every single person that's listening to this right now is using their smartphone to listen to it. 100%. Uh, you know. Same as I would be. Exactly. Exactly. So... However, what you've done, and I think there's, there's, there's. Well, I've, I've, <clears throat> I've claimed an hour a day. Exactly. You've claimed an hour a day, but what you've done is you've put it towards something that you see an outcome of. Yep. Okay, and that's very important as well. You know what I mean? You've got to. It's physical exercise. However, it's also something that when you stand back and look at it, you've made a change. Yep. You've done something. To make that change, and like, and <clears throat> excuse me, I mean, um, we're talking about motivation, and like everything, the biggest way to get that adrenaline hit or, or that hit of satisfaction, yeah, is, the serotonin is, dump, yeah, is to achieve goals. Exactly, to exactly to achieve something, and the thing is, what you've done as well is talking about motivation. These motivational videos, a lot of them do say as well. It's like just do half an hour a day, and the thing is, it doesn't have to be. Obviously, I like working out. I like exercising. You don't. Yeah. However, Tick. guess what? <laughs> guess what? Doing your garden, I'm sorry, bro, you're exercising. 100%. You know what I mean? You've yeah. just chosen ch- chosen, chosen, something else, another another way to achieve that. So it doesn't, I don't think it really matters at the end of the day whether it's exercise, whether or not you want to do something like this or you want to fucking, what did I, I you know, you want to knit fucking doilies. Who gives a fuck? You know what I mean? You've just got to find something to focus yep. on that is outside of your normal 
duties, I suppose. Yeah. You know, especially as men, I think we we lose focus on something like that as men, because we are, we do have a sense of duty to our families and all that sort of stuff, and we're very, as you say, we, we'll, you know, as Jocko says, the easy road calls to us. You know what I mean? It, mm. it, it does. You know, and that's that's, and I think modern society has made it easy, and that's the challenge these days is that we need. We don't have to fucking worry about anything, man. You know what I mean? Realistically, we don't have to hunt for our food. We don't. You know what I mean? Like, there's yep. so many things. Everything is done for us. It's so convenient. And let's be honest, and we've both done it. Sitting on a big fucking comfy couch, watching Game of Thrones, and eating, you know, corn chips and lollies is is actually a good time. Yeah, happy days. That's my R and R. Yeah, you know what I mean. <clears throat> it's just a matter. It's just a matter of recognizing. And I think one of the big things for me is recognizing that I had fallen into the trap again. And it's not like it's a one-off. It's a, every now and then I go through these little spurts. Well, we go up and down, mate. To, to pretend that we don't is is folly. Yeah, you, know, you 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 will you'll have a burst of motivation. You'll have a thing, and then you'll slip back. The key is when you do that, how how far do you slip back? Uh, yeah, yeah. And it's the slingshot. It's a little bit less each time. Exactly. And so as, as long as as long as you can self reflect and you and you can be true to yourself and you can actually internalize and go, you know what, I'm wasting my time here. Let me go do something more productive. Exactly. And, and whether that's going and washing the clothes or washing the dishes or Just something, man, doesn't matter. Doesn't something matter. Something simple, dude. Something yep. simple. You know. I quite often do the outside stuff. So I'll go to my shed, and even the other day, I'm like, you know what. I'm just going to go out there and I'm just going to clean this little one little section. Yeah. I didn't just clean the one section. Of Once you did. I started, I'm I'm in a roll and I got it all done. And it's another one of those things too, you know what I mean? Obviously, you know, completing the studio over the last, you know, little while. When I walk in here now, I go boom. Ah, it's, it's that sigh of relief. Exactly. It's that this is my space. Yeah. However, I made it's this. Not, exactly. However, it's not finished. I don't think it'll ever be finished. However, you know, even cleaning your shed, having your stuff organised, there is something about that. You know what I mean? Clean, clean workspace, clean mind. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You know, when you when you when you're free of clutter and you've got a free workspace, you can actually open your mind up. And you normally find, and I know if you find this as well, that I get it's it's like when you're doing menial tasks that you don't really need to think about, your mind opens up to other possibilities. I don't know how many times I've been doing something stupid, like whatever it is, sweeping or just doing a very general menial task. Boom, I'll have a brainwave. You know yep. what I mean? Shit, write that down. You know, finish your task. However, you need to test yourself in different areas and do different things, have different ideas and different exercises that you do. And you don't have to use that word exercises, just different things that you do. When was the last time you drove in the car without listening to a podcast or the radio or music? I generally do it at least one trip a week. Yeah, cool. Not too many people do. Yeah. I try to make a point. I, I try to do it every second day. Yeah. And, and I literally drive the whole time and I just run with thoughts in my head. Yes. It, it almost becomes a meditation. I think it is. Because yeah. you, you focus on one thing and then you'll flitter and that's fine and I'll, I'll let mm. it go. The whole time watching. Well, you are, yeah, you are piloting a vehicle as well, so you can't yeah, you know, yeah, completely yeah, float yeah, away. No, um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, but no, I think there's something yeah. to that as well. Is that you just, yeah, I, I try and do it at least yeah. once a week. And I and I have noticed in the last couple of weeks because I said I've been on this um, on this path. Um, I've been not listening to the crap talk back radio. So I, I gave up on that years ago, man. Like, uh, and every now and again, I'll turn it on, and, and it's I'm all s- it's all bullshit. And it's, it's total bullshit. It's irrelevant. Man. It's guys who are getting paid, and um, there's normally two guys in a chair or vice versa, yeah. and it's just banter, and they're doing what we're doing. Exactly. And I'm not in... It, it doesn't do it for me anymore. Yeah, so, but they're doing it from a commercial sense. They're bound by all this sort of stuff, whereas 100%. we're sitting in my studio, and we can do whatever the fuck we want. 100%. You know what I mean? There's a genuine... This is a genuine conversation versus a manufactured one. I mean, they have a meeting in the morning... And go. This is what we're going to talk about. This is the sequence we're going to fucking say it in. Da 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 da. da. We started this with half an idea the other day. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And, and, yeah, and and all their stuff is irrelevant. There's no substance to it. No. There's no. There's no nothing to get out of it. No, and I think again talking about utilizing your time. The reason I've listened to podcasts so much over the years is because it's a better utilization of my time. You know, I could listen to history. I could listen to whatever it is. I'm actually learning. I'm inputting data. 
I'm not listening to, hey, fucking, this is blah, 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 yeah, blah, yeah, blah, yeah. Blah, 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 you know, like, fuck off. Like, you're actually giving yourself an education as such. Well, I listen to a lot of that um, that Jim Quick, which yes. is all about brain training and mental yes. enhancements and all that sort of stuff. Like, that's what gets me off. That's that's my exactly. driver. And yeah. all of that is leading into what's happened now. The last two or three years, it's all of these little snippets that I've got have almost culminated now. Well, yeah. that's and that's, that's where I was... You know, obviously, I've been with you as you've been with me along this journey. You know, as I say, this is only your second one-on-one podcast. You know what I mean? So I did avoid it for a long time. You did avoid it for a long time. <laughs> However, you did one. You thought that was pretty cool. I want to do it again, right? <laughs> I did too, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> However, behind the scenes, you've you know, you've been there, and like obviously, I've been with you through your journey and all that sort of stuff, and it's like. You don't get anywhere, you know, it's not, it's not about how far you've come, it's the steps you took while you're getting there, and one of the big, like, one of the things I get out of the motivational videos and that, it is about, uh, it's the journey, man. Mm. You actually, you can set yourself little goals, and this is what we're talking about, right? So you set yourself little goals every day. Half an hour, I'm just going to potter around and do that. Stand back and go, yep, job done. Happy days, yep. Get to work. Do the hard things, tick, 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 serotonin dump, I've achieved something, right? That's what it's about. However, where to next? Exactly, right? At the same time, though, like Jordan Peterson talks about the sky's the limit. Well, well, you can't really do that, you know what I mean? Like, the sky's not the fucking limit. That is so, you'll never achieve something like that. You need to, instead of going, I'm going to be the next fucking, you know. Albert Einstein. Yeah. <laughs> It's not going to happen. What can I do today yep. to give me some satisfaction yep. right? and achieve that and keep moving? Many li- little things make big things grow, mate. I do agree with having big goals, though. You- oh, you've got to have a big overall goal. Don't get me wrong, right? You've got to be working towards something larger. However, it's about recognizing the steps that it takes between now and there. You can't jump to the end. Everyone wants to jump to the end. In the modern society, it's about instant gratification. Most things, I'm sorry, actually take fucking effort. Mm. That's the reality. Yep. You know what I mean? They, they take time. They take effort. They, you can't just, you know, click your fingers. You know what I mean? I mean, you, we spoke talking tonight. You were the one that helped me clear this out when it was a rubbish room, man. Mm. And there was those two dodgy old fucking couches in here. You know? Yeah, that was a while ago. Exactly. Now look around. That's That takes time these things take time and vision and vision exactly but the vision develops right this is what you know we, you talk about your, your power generation thing you, you you're working on that we talked about before we turned the mics on which i think we should dedicate a podcast to at some point when we got more concrete stuff around that once it's patented yeah <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> however the the reality is is that that has evolved right 100%, you, you've from a, a thought from a thought on a whiteboard in polar fresh three or four years ago yeah that's when it happened mm. when we were teaching uh, <laughs> i like the inverted commas there. yeah yeah no one saw that <laughs> we were very busy working for the training company that no longer exists however that's evolved from something that was on paper where well, she mm. come out it was a dream wasn't it the yeah. start. It was a dream first, and then we discussed it, and then it evolved from there. And it evolved from there, and you've actually bought a 3D printer now. You know, you've done all these things. It's evolving. Mm. And, like, you always want it to be the fucking best, man. You know what I mean? That's actually what drives you. Like, I think, you know, the podcast for me is obviously my thing. Like, I always wanted to be better. I always wanted to be better. And here we are, 70 episodes in, and we're better. However, now it's the next step. You know what I mean? Like, there's, Mm. there's, there's still more to go. However, every time... Even if you and I think so, even if you think about it, if you think about whatever your goal is every day, talking about motivation, right? If you just you got to spend some time every day, could be five minutes, just breathing for a second and going, oh yeah. Well, it's it's your drive into work. Yeah, it's your drive into work and home again. Yeah. Yep. There's an hour a day that most of us wipe away with crap on crap that we're listening to on the radio. Mm. The, these, well, we're not going back there, but yeah, and I, I've found it invaluable, invaluable for prioritizing my time. Mm. By the time I get home, I've got a plan. Even when I get home, I know what's going to happen, which um, normally I don't. I normally get in, turn the stereo off because I've been listening to music or doing whatever, and then I walk inside and I'm like, right, you 
same as when I get to work. Right, what's next? Where, where am I going? And the thing is about a plan is that you shouldn't be stuck to your plan because plans inevitably change and evolve as well. However, a shit plan is better than no plan. Yeah. You know what I mean? As long as you've got some semblance of an idea. Well, a plan's only a direction. Exactly. It's yeah. not it's not a yeah, it's not a just it's not a destination. Yeah. Yeah. And if you you've got a as I say, a shit plan's better than no plan. So what do you want to you what do you want to do? Okay, what's the plan? Even if that doesn't fucking work, you've got it you you can change and evolve and, 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 and make it work. Yeah. Well life takes over. It doesn't matter how much I said that I wanted to exercise and do my walking. Um, like I said, I've hurt my butt muscle. Yeah. Um, I know I'm out for a couple of weeks. It is what it is. Yeah. So that that plan's been altered. Doesn't mean that I'm going to do nothing. Um, yeah, you've got, but and, you've got to adjust now. Find something else yeah. to do. Yeah, yeah. You know, and I think the thing is, is that sure you're on a different sort of motivational bend now. However, I think you've been working towards it, and I want. I was gonna. I'm gonna re ask you the question because I know since going to your new job and over the last little while, you've been playing chess a lot more. And I wonder whether that's a that's a factor because that's actually a very mind. It's very strategic. You've got to have a plan. You've got to have a goal. You've got to have a. It's your goal to you know. Yeah, yeah, and it's um, as I said, I've been doing it at work, but also at home. Like I now have got the apps on the phone um, that I play, mm. and I'd probably play three, four games a night, quick ones. Um, yep. But it is interesting. I don't know if there's a direct correlation, but it does seem to be that. Um, there's a lot of things happening all at once. There's my healthier eating. There's mm. my, I am doing more exercise as much as I shun it. Um, I am playing chess. I am looking at all of these mental things. I've got mm. my speed reading that I'm doing. There's a whole heap of things that I'm doing. Is Does one start the other or is it all just happened at the same time? I'm not sure. Mm. All I know is that I heard something a month ago. The chess was further than that, but mm. I heard something a month ago which has really given me a, a rocket up the ass, mm. and has really made me sort of think about the bigger picture. Yeah, and you've got to find whatever that is. And look, motivational videos I think are a good way to go. You can surf them through YouTube. However, I think one thing that I wanted to convey to the listeners is that if something doesn't speak to you, that doesn't mean that you hundred percent don't look at the next one. Yeah, because. And you know, we covered this the other day. You have been giving me motivational videos for, what, five years now? Yeah, How something like been? that. No, 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 well, I've been on my kick for about three years. So it'd be about three years okay. that I've been giving you. And nothing's ever really... Nothing's resonated with you. Yeah, and it's not to say that you haven't given me something that would now. I just wasn't in the place You weren't receptive. The time. Yeah. yeah. Whereas I said that comment that I heard the other day, it just went ding. Yeah. That's Wow. And, and it was a real eye-opener. Had I heard that a year beforehand, would I have had the same reaction? I don't know. That's exactly. Not, not exactly. How have you been working. playing chess in the last year as well? I just, I, it's interesting. I mean, the thing is now, there's, mm. it's a really null and void conversation because you're here now, you're doing it. That's right. And I didn't record this as a process through the time. So no. it, it, is, it is a look back and you can sort of go, well, geez, all this stuff happened. And, I don't know. Were they contributing factors? Probably. Were they, well, they sort of defining be, don't factors? Know. That's uh, don't know. You don't know because there's no way to know. You no. just it, it is what it is. Like I said, I've lost almost almost ten kilos. Yeah, which is awesome. Man. Nine actually. But um, and you asked me the other day, do you feel better? And I went, no. Do you, do you notice a difference? Not really. Yet I yet, still yet you're doing more. You're thinking clearer. You know what I mean? Like a hundred percent. And but you asked me the question: Does this feel yeah, like? Do it's, you feel? And you said no. No, and like I said I still see my stomach. I, I I still like to me no. But then at the same time, I've thought about this since we spoke. It has to be a contributing factor. It has to be, man. There's no way it can't be. Yeah, it's all interlinked. Mm. But do I see the little steps now? No. No. Uh, but in the big bigger scheme of it, do they all matter? Yes. Yes. It's like watching your kids grow. Do I notice the difference? No, because I see them every day. Mm. Uh, when someone else sees them, the first response who hasn't seen it for a while is, gee, look how big they've got. Yeah, oh. well, you saw the girls today and went, wow, because you haven't seen the girls in a little while. Oh, it's been, it's been six months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, and that's the thing. You don't notice the evolvement. So and I think there's, there's, there's something to drill into that needs to be spoken about. It's like when you see someone who has achieved a lot in your eyes, right, 
human perception, we sort of look at it and go, oh, isn't he lucky or she lucky or whatever it is like that. You've got no no idea what their story is. You know what I mean? You don't know the steps and the little steps and the failures and the fuck-ups and everything else that it took to get to where they are right now. 100%. And, and that's it, everyone in life. And that's everyone in life. It that's, doesn't matter whether they're a cleaner or a CEO. Everyone has their own trials and tribulations. Absolutely. Everybody through. has a story, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I think we are all... And that, that's something that I've learned is that we can all learn from each other because at the end of the day, we actually all want the same thing regardless of creed, colour, religion, sex, gender, fucking whatever, right? We all just want to be happy. We, are, we want to be, you know, satisfied in what we're doing. We want to be loved. We want to be comfortable. You know what I mean? As a, as a, as a, as a race of humans, team human, everybody wants the same thing. And you, we could work towards that if we actually thought about it. You know what I mean? Mm. And they, from a perception standpoint, although different things motivate us, the end goal generally is still the same. That's what I find fascinating about self betterment. Yes, whether whether it's financially, whether it's mentally, whether it's spiritually, whether it's it's physically, yeah. it's all self betterment. That, that's your drive yeah. for yourself and your family. Like we all we want to do good for everyone. Mm. But it's all going to be about us to start with. If you you are actually number one, right? And that's not arrogant, and that's not ego saying. I tell that. everyone, I am God. Yeah, I am God. We, exactly, I am God. We are God. You are God. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Well, no, what, just just me. Oh yeah, just you. <laughs> but you, I mean, you are one of those people that go, "I'm fucking awesome." You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it's a positive affirmation you give yourself. I should have just recorded that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know. However, you and I think. We talk about motivators, right? So you've got your project as your motivators, your self-improvement, your, your, your betterment of self. If How can you be the best worker, the best father, the best artist, the best rider, the best walker, the best lover, the best, you know, whatever it is you want to be, if you aren't the best version of yourself? True. But to be all those things... All you have to do is focus and try on each one. Exactly. You can't. I can't be the best worker if I don't turn up for work. That's if, right. I, if I don't go to work. Yeah, if you don't make steps, I'm going to be fired yeah. and I'm not going to have a job. Yeah. If I don't attend my children or my wife or or attend any family and friends, like if I didn't talk to you, would we be mates? No. No. Because no. it, it, it's, it's a reciprocal thing. You've got to make effort mm. and effort requires motivation. Mm. And, I think and discipline to a point as well. 100%. And I, I heard, actually, I think it was Matthew McConaughey, and he was talking about the, the five the five key things, and it was like work and relationship and kids, and, mm. and he went through all of his things, and it's like, he goes, as soon as one starts going into the red, he does a self-check. Mm. And, and it's a good little analogy that... Um, yeah, something's going awesome, so that probably means that somewhere... Something somewhere, else has fallen down. Something else has fallen down. It's Bit about it. juggling the balls and keeping all the balls in the air at the same time. And it takes effort, man, and, the, and it's not always going to happen, you know what I mean? If you don't think these uber successful people... Have all failed. They've all failed. Of course they have, and multiple times. Yeah, they just keep going. They decide to keep going, or they get up, you know what I mean? It's like, get up and keep moving forward. That, And the simple analogies, as far as motivationally, are actually the ones that still true. You know, they ring true. Just move, you know, one step at a time. Mm. How many times do you hear that? One step at a time. That's actually all it is. Just get up and do it. Just one fucking... And it doesn't... You don't have to run every day, right? Just take one step forward. Shuffle, like, inch forward. Mm. Every day, as long as you try and be a tiny little bit better in some area of your life than you were the day before, yep. kudos to you. Yep. And you have to find a project that you at least think about or do something to do to work on every day. Yep. You know, outside of the kids, outside of, you know, outside of my wife, outside of work, every day I do something to do with the podcast or, you know, exercise. Yep. Even I if it... I agree with that. Even if it's something small. Even if it's only a thought process. If exactly. It's dedicating time to thinking about something. Exactly. Five minutes of time to thinking about it. Mm. Right? Okay, here's a question. If you didn't have your project in the background, mm -hmm. would the motivating factors still work without that goal? Or do you think that that goal is that important that it needs to be there? I think that goal is my driving force. Yeah. Uh, it is. It to is make whatever to make that better. And, and even with my project at the moment, I'm still 
I'm still doing the 80% of easy stuff before getting stuck in. And I'm, I'm well aware of that. That's a, that's a flaw that I'm working through. Yeah, but again, you were talking to me tonight. You'd change your thought process. As I say, you're actually you, you're, you're changing your thought process to doing the harder things first, which will give you a more better foundation to work forward. But I still mowed the lawn for three weeks instead of getting into my design. Yeah, but you had to mow the lawn. I know. For three weeks. It's the juggle. Right. Um, <clears throat> However, it doesn't did, mean did that. I, you, did you not, during that mowing the lawn for three weeks, evolve the idea? I bet you you did. Yes, I did. But I could have also, once I finished mowing the lawn and put the kids to sleep, I could have gone into my shed and worked on my design. I yes, didn't. you could have. Yeah, I didn't. You chose not to. I However, chose not to. Yeah, and that, as, as long as you're aware of that choice, you don't have to. You know 100%. what I mean? 100%. And it is small steps. Exactly. Like, I, I, you know me. I'm in for a penny, in for a pound kind of person. Um, Look, and the I, fact that you're trying to back off and do one thing at a time is actually very... It's it's good, man. It's good. It's I not think. like me at all. It's it? not like you at all. <laughs> like it's like yeah, yeah. The fact that you're trying to see things step by step, I think you actually get more satisfaction out of them. You know what I mean? I think, and the end result is better as well. That's that's yeah, and it's where I was saying before. Like it's the the the, you, the question you asked me. It's the accumulative. Do I notice it here and now? Mm. Instantly? No. But when I look at the bigger picture, it has to is be it all fact. interlinked? It has to be. Yes, it is. And um, and I do feel better for the fact. Like I, I said to my missus, and I'm sure I drive her nuts. I know I do. Um, but I'm like... We all oh. drive our missus nuts, mate. That's just... What I said to her the other day, I'm like, oh, fuck, it feels so good to get that done. And I just left it at that. And it was just like... It, but it does. It, it does. It feels so good. There's a serotonin dump that your body gives you every time you achieve something, even well, if it is just something simple. And I was I looking for accolades? Maybe a little bit. Maybe, uh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well but, done, um, babe. Yeah. But at the same time, it was it was just like I had to say it out loud. And whether I said it to myself or to her, I mm. was going to say it, but it was like, that, and it was, a, it was a victory. And every time I did it, and not the fact that I mowed the lawn or whippersnipped or did any of that, like who gives a shit? It's an irrelevant task. But it was the fact that I did it when I got home. It was that I completed a goal. I completed a goal, and my goal was every afternoon to do something. Exactly. And some of those days stretched way more than my goal. I didn't just do half an hour an hour. One of the days, I didn't sit down until about half past eight, I think it was, mm. and I just finished ironing the clothes. Like I did, I got into like a little busy bee spree, and yeah. I just did everything. And I sat down, and I went, and I can always say it's the first time in years. I sat down, and I went, ah, oh, that feels good. Yes, because I, you can take your R and R. R and R feels much, much better when you've earned it. I yeah, I'll, I'll stick it. That's good. I like that because you have to, you know, because it's the easy road, right? You can come home and you know eat a tin of condensed milk and sit on the couch and watch your movies, right? That was young too. Oh, it was, <laughs> I'm not saying it's it's a, it's a it's a delicious, guilty, terrible thing. However, don't think I haven't done it. Uh, it's however when you put in the work. And then you finally get to sit down after that work is done. Yeah, the beer is that little bit sweeter. The yeah. chair is that little bit more comfortable. Whatever you're watching, you actually pay attention a little bit more to it because you actually you've earned that. And there's something that we've lost in the in the easy ease of convenience of life in modern times. We don't have to really do anything. You know what I mean? You mm -hmm. go to the shops, you get your food. You can't. You don't have to. Once upon a time, we used to go and fucking hunt that. You know what I mean? We'd have to hunt that food. We'd have to try and. Gather those berries. They're, 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 and I'm glad those days are gone because I don't want to do that. No. Uh, however, it doesn't mean that your lizard human brain still doesn't work that way. Mm. So you've got to, in order to find your path and utilize the things that we have these days and the ability that we have to build a cool space like this and sit here and wax lyrical about motivation, right? That opportunity can't be wasted. Mm. You know what I mean? However, you need to do whatever you need to do in order to free yourself up to deal with this you know what i mean or, or to do whatever it is that you need to do you still need to we as humans need to satisfy that side of ourselves find our motivation find our passion project and use that because that'll actually give us satisfaction in life and i bet you you've found that since you've been on your bend and you've been doing this stuff the little things don't bother you as much because you're actually looking at larger things yeah true I'll agree with that. You know, you're letting shit slip by that you probably would have got fired up about mm. because you're actually f giving yourself achievement. Mm. You don't have to waste energy on shit because it's like, oh, it's, it doesn't matter. 
what matters is the is the goal, is the journey. It's like no, no, it's okay, because the end of the day, people are people. They do whatever the fuck they want. Mm. You know that that should not stop you on your journey and what you're doing. Well, the whole thing is, I mean, even with even with my journey, everyone's already said it can't be done. Do I care? No, because I believe it can. I'm on my own little path, and I'm going against what everyone else says. But it it hasn't I've never stopped said me. That. No, no, true. You're one of the few. Oh, and my lovely wife hasn't either. <laughs> <laughs> That's all that matters, man. That's all that matters. You know? It, but it hasn't squashed my motivation. I don't care. I had an idea when I was about 18. Jesus, what's that? 20 years ago. Shh. <laughs> I'm getting old. Mm, don't um, tell anyone. And I remember my grandpa. He turned around and went, can't be done. Can't exceed, can't exceed whoever's law it was that said that this can't be done because of this, this, this. And he's a very learned man. Yeah. And then I had a mate who's also an engineer and said the same thing. And I'm like, cool. Well, I'll just squash that. Anyway, and I didn't think about it again. And then it wasn't until three years ago, four years ago, whenever it was, I've got the thing, my drawing. And it wasn't until that came up again. And, I'm, and I actually said to my missus, I went, you know what? I'm not an inventor. This isn't me. And this is really friggin' random that I've been able to draw this thing. Um, and that since that day has been the driving motivator whenever I'm in the car and that's, that's my driving force for years now. Um, I've procrastinated for years also. Um, but everything's leading and interlinking my memory stuff. There's, there's a whole heap of stuff, um, fitness, Mm. uh, this, it's all interlinked. Of course it is. It's of course it's all interlinked. You can't achieve a major goal without achieving small goals. And I think that's what we're talking about. It's like, you know, this humble little podcast, it's one of literally millions of podcasts. I'm still doing it. You know what I mean? Mm. Because that's what I want to do. Yep. Same thing. It can't be done. Well, okay. Then I'm going to do it anyway. Sweet. Happy days. Thanks yeah. Thanks. Thanks for the head, heads up. Um, yeah, thanks for your advice. I appreciate that. Uh just for the record, I think it can be done. We'll talk more about that later. However, you've got to have something It can't be done it. until it's done. Exactly. It doesn't exist until it exists. Well, it, 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 like, oh, that's actually really good. Think yeah, well, about I fucking every- made that up. That was awesome. Yeah, it was. That was really good. <laughs> you think, Well, think about everything that's around us, man. This couch didn't exist until someone fucking drew it up. Mm-hmm. You know the, what I mean? The earth was flat until someone sailed off the edge magically and now it's round. You know what I mean? Well, back in the day, technically it was technically still flat to some people. Uh, we don't want to talk about that. But it, it was taught in universities back in however many year, million years ago that was. But mm. it was taught in universities that the world was flat. Yes. Until they realised it wasn't. Yes. And it's like ah, oh. I mean that's the same with everything. Everything is was everything was nothing. You know, I think that's when you actually sit down and try and wrap your head around that. That everything you see has been created. You know, that's been created by humans didn't exist before. It's like, wow, you know. So then it is, and an in, and if you want to extrapolate it, in an infinite universe, infinite things are possible. Mm. That's and a how whole, many? That's and how, a whole different conversation. Exactly, that is a whole different conversation. <laughs> Have every single awesome invention at some point said someone said to them, "No, you can't do that, mate." Hundred percent. Yeah. Oh, can I? Well, fuck you. I'm going to do it anyway. AC versus DC electrics, electronics. Yes. You know yeah. what I mean? All of a sudden, it couldn't be done. Whereas, imagine a world where they, where we didn't invent AC and we had DC little substations every two kilometers to transfer power. Yeah, crazy. Yeah, we can take we can thank Tesla for that though, can't we? Is that Tesla? Mm, one of them. <laughs> oh, Edison. Yeah, we're gonna, you're gonna do Tesla. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're not. We, we don't have that information in front of us right now. Yeah, you don't want to um, show my ignorance. No. <laughs> So I think, I think maybe the conversation's coming to an end, man. I don't really know what more we can really say. No, I agree. I think we covered it. Uh, well, I covered what I want to say. You wanted to cover what you want to say. I think just to you know, think about what we've talked about, and even I think the key is if you look back now to where you are now with the clarity and thoughts that you have now, every little step made a difference. Yep. Right or wrong. Right or wrong. Exactly. However, I think well, you've got yourself to a point now where you've recognised that. And you, as you say, you're looking at your steps now. You're not just going, you know. Yeah, I can see when I've dropped a ball. Yeah. And I can see when the ball's up really high. And you, and you can get to realise what works. 
Exactly. And it, it's it, one of the key things about motivation is and, and, and getting your motivator and getting your passion project and doing all the things we talked about is understanding when that happens. Once you have that observational... I mean, you, know, you would have think too, don't, don't, don't not take into account you have a passion retreat. Don't, don't take into account your dark retreat. All these things that you've done to mm. train your mind. Also, don't forget I had um, severe bouts of depression, stress and anxiety all those years ago where, where I had zero motivation. The kids didn't exist. The missus didn't exist. Life was a lot darker. Um, I got out of that. Yes. And, and I can recognize when I'm sliding back into it as well. Um, and, and I still do. Um, I go well, through yeah, spurts. Absolutely. Cool. Well, I think that, you know, that the black dog is something that he's never gone away. You know what I mean? That mm. hole is always there. But I, I learned techniques to recognize and then to adapt. And I honestly feel that back then, the motivation you, didn't matter whether you said to me, find it. You can't find it when you're not in the right headspace. It's mm. very difficult to find that driver. Mm. Um, I managed to get myself well. And now the, the, the motivation and the drivers to are remain well. To remain well. Yeah. Um, so I, I recognize when, it's, when it is slipping and then you, you implement the techniques um, and then I said, I've got these other driving forces as my motivators now, as mm. we've been talking about, mm. um, and they allow me to not slide as easy. Exactly. Because I've, I've got a goal I'm pushing. I'm, I'm constantly mm-hmm. trying to achieve. Mm. I said, and I know that I've been slack for the last probably bloody year and a half. Um, everything's just been on pause. But it hasn't. Oh, but you it did has. your dark retreat last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, from my from my, my b- bigger picture goal. Mm. But at the same time, I've done a heap of other stuff. As you said, the dark retreat, my speed reading. There's a, there's a whole heap of stuff that I'm doing. But again, all those things, all that ex- all that extra stuff, that extracurricular stuff, it feeds into what you want to do anyway. Yep. And it also feeds in with something that I put down in uh, with my missus. Oh, geez, it must have been 15 years ago. We wrote a, I wrote a little future time capsule thing about where do we want to be and, and things we want to learn. Mm. And a heap of these things that I've, I'm achieving were actually on my list from 15 years ago. Um, yeah. So they are life goals that I'm slowly ticking off. Um, and look, let's let's not take away the importance of writing things down because actually, I found one hundred percent. I found that uh, one of my the first books I had at the podcast. It's in the cupboard there, and I'd written a list, hmm. and I read that that this is what I wanted the podcast I wanted to be. And basically, you're sitting in it right now. How cool is that? You know what I mean? Like that's it's it's got to that stage, you know. And in, in all honesty, I've actually started writing some more stuff down about okay, what's the next? Where are we going next? And what it's are we actually doing now? all the motivation speeches and, and stuff that I've watched have all said we don't set our goals high enough. We, you need achievable ones, small achievable, the low hanging fruit. I mean, we've discussed it in the past. Um, but you also need that bigger one, that bigger overarching. Mm. And I think uh, big goals are useful. However, I think the self improvement one, like the one that we're sort of on, you know. I actually don't think that one will ever end. I well, think it shouldn't. It shouldn't. You should. There's always going to be something to strive for personally. Exactly. I, I want to speak multiple languages. Have I even attempted to start that yet? Hell no. No. <laughs> but that doesn't mean but you won't. Not, 100%. It's yeah. not on my priority list at the moment. I've got other, I've got other priorities in my 80-20 which, yeah. uh, which are drawing my time. Does it mean that I'll never get to that? Absolutely not. No, you might. You know, I think... Because that's... In instant in this modern instant gratification world, oh, I'm enlightened. I don't think you're ever fucking enlightened. I mean, that's a that's a a very loaded term these days. The journey never ends, man. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? I think you've got to have steps and goals along the way. Have an understand that your personal journey, the one that you are on as a human, you're gonna you you should. What do I, I got a meme in my phone? I haven't put on Instagram yet. Uh, the aim is to die young as old as possible, or something like that. Yeah, it's cool. I like that. You know what I mean? Like that works. Have shit to do the day you slip off this mortal coil in many, many, many years to come. Have no regrets. Have something, and, and you should be doing something. Mm. You know what I mean? That's that's important too. You know, and that's when you don't have a goal, when you don't have that. That's when the black dog comes knocking, man. You know what I mean? When you, that's when you the, the demons start to win and all that sort of stuff. However, you can't, like you said before, without that contrast, you wouldn't know. Hundred percent. You don't know good if you don't know evil. Exactly. It's, it's, it's so don't don't ever think that your nothing is always positive ever. That's the reality. 
you know, right? And, and however, like, and you know, this is something I've said a lot lately for some reason. You're either winning or you're learning. I think, yeah, cool. I'm going to, I just, I just, sorry, I just cut you off, but I've got a totally okay. different wavelength. But I, um, it's one of the biggest, like I've, I'm just about to delete my Facebook account. I was telling you the other day. Yep. Um, but I won't because some of the games I play need to be at to link through. So, <laughs> hey, I've still got my R&R. Um, but the thing you only ever see on social media is the, the good, the happy, the oh, yay, look at me. Um, they don't show the bullshit that happened be- five seconds before the photo. Mm. They don't show mm. They don't show the real life drama. Mm. They show old mate in his sports car or mm. they show the, the, the beautiful the chick over there mm. or whatever it may be. Like we said before, you don't know what the backstory it's is. It's all a facade. Yeah. Facebook, social medias, uh-huh. they're a dangerous thing if people are using them as a mechanism as a mechanism to compare themselves that's because right. what you're looking at is not really what you're looking at no that's true you've got to be i've tried with my with the social media especially with the podcast i'll just say it how it is you know what i mean like i've i've put many posts where i've you know i'm not, i didn't have a fucking good weekend this mm. was not i didn't have fun you know what i mean personally my mind was not in a good place you know, you've got to be, it's about authenticity. You know what I mean? Anything you see that I've written on Facebook or anything else like that, I would say to your face. I'm not trying mm. to, they are tools. However, they're also very scary tools. I listened to a Sam Harris podcast, um, the Making Sense podcast the other day. There was one about um, the problem with Facebook and Google and stuff like that. Very interesting and very disturbing. However, they can be used as good tools. Like 100%. You, say, you know? However, there is that danger. There is that danger with the filters and the six packs and all that fucking shit. You know what I mean? Like that's the reality. There is danger in that and and falsify, and and I'm sure the nuclear the nuclear power plants were the only intent for nuclear as well. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Exactly. Exactly. You yeah. know, they, they, it's all it's all sleight of hand. However, with anything, it can be used for good. Yep. I think. There is there is a version of social media that could be very very positive for the world oh, as far as interconnecting families all around the world, keeping yes. in touch with lives, all yeah, that exactly. sort of stuff. There's there's a very positive aspect aspect to it. However, there's also a very very dark aspect to it as well. You know, what yeah, I mean? yeah. There's a lot of keyboard warriors who who become trolls who would never have the balls to say it in front of my face. That's right. Exactly. <laughs> that's exactly right. However, the you know to bring it back around. The motivational videos, the few that I found, I found on Facebook. You know what I mean? Like yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, I agreed. You know, so pros and cons. Exactly, and it, and like we say, like we just said before. You know, pros and cons. Whatever you want to do, you're winning, or you're learning. However, find whatever your motivation is. I think is the key. I agree. Don't stop at one thing. Try stuff out. You know what I mean. Like you know, you've been trying all sorts of shit over the years, and whatever reason, now you've you've, you've found something that's actually starting to really work for you, and you're seeing the benefits of it. However, that that wasn't without trying a thousand things before. Yeah, hundred percent. You know what I mean. I think that's very very true. Well, mate, I think we're done. However, I want to do something with you that I think we haven't done before. Your right arm in that bookshelf there, in the middle bookshelf, in between the runes and the Spitfire, there's three Wisdom Warrior books. I want you to choose one of those books for me. Whichever one you want, whichever one speaks to you. You the first one. Grab the first one. All right. Now, just open to a page and tell me what it says. The path of the warrior is a noble path and a lifelong quest for excellence. Is that not exactly what we were just talking about for the last however long? Huh. And isn't that, cool. isn't that trippy? <laughs> it's page number 96, by the way. There you go. Huh. Very cool. And that book does that all the time. So, <laughs> mate, have you got any other thoughts before we finish this one off? No, no, I'm good. I think, um, thanks for having me. It was, um, it was a good talk. Yeah, awesome. It's, it's, it's good to just said do it for your podcast. We talk like this all the time, anyway. This exactly. Is, this is our general drive home chat whenever we're talking. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I've said that before. Plus, so we, I wish we had a recorder. Yeah, yeah, plus a million different variations. Exactly. We, we tend to waffle on with crap. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so no, thanks for coming in, man. I really appreciate you coming to the studio. First one on one in the studio. So, and um, nice yeah. new gear, by the way. Looks awesome. Thanks, man. I really appreciate it. All right, guys. Uh, thanks very much. And uh, yeah, thanks, man. Cool. Catch you guys. Talk soon. Bye. Cheers. Wow.